Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the um, for the sign of Capricorn. It is a weekly reading. So that being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with, and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as though it does not um, suit the way that you're feeling, the way that you are right now, it just doesn't correlate with you, that's okay. Just let it be like that. It is not for you today. It will be for you another moment. Um, that being said, if you do enjoy um, my channel and you do enjoy my videos and you have not yet um, subscribed, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to myself and to the channel and it would be greatly appreciated. Um, also, if you would like to have your own personal reading um, with, you know, your thoughts, your ideas, your relationship, your questions, you want some clarity, please contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to, um, to give you the information on the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those, um, those solutions for you and those answers for you. So that being said, um, as I said, this is a weekly. It's that being said, uh, I'm using Lenormand and Kipper. Let's go and see what's in store for you this week. So let's just flip these cards over. I have the clouds. I have the flowers. I have the lady. I have the book. I have the moon. I have time. A maze. A tower. Mice. A gift, the lover's journey, occupation, message, and thoughts. Voila. I have the couple, so we're going to begin with the couple, okay? Let's just begin with these two cards here. I have the lovely lady, and I have the handsome man. There you go. So, this is all about, i um, just going to move these cards over here, so we know this is what we're talking about. So, um, this is really, it's really quite simple. Um, the both regards, let's say both looks are facing each other and they're really just trying to, uh, they're just trying to assess a little bit what's going on into the relationship. You know, in every relationship there's highs and there's lows. Right now you might be a little bit into a low and, uh, and that's okay. That's okay. Your relationship is not in trouble or anything. Um, this is really just about your being a little bit in a low period and you're both kind of thinking. You're kind of thinking about, well, the lady is kind of thinking about, um, about the relationship, about uh, the partner, about how, you know, um, just about how much you know she loves him and everything and how much, you know, just thinking about events and things that they've done together because, you know, we do that in moments of sadness when we're not feeling all that good. We think about all the good moments and it makes us even more sad. So, um, and the thoughts, the same thing over here with the thoughts, um, but a, a little bit different actually. I said the same, but no. Um, uh, he is depicted as uh, thinking a little bit more. He's a set a little bit more he assesses the situation and you are um, looking you're thinking you're more emotional they're more intellectual onto this level okay they just don't see it the same way uh, but that being said so this is just really about thinking about what's going on into the relationship and that's all um, I do have to say that there is something into this relationship that's been eating both of you kind of away here. Uh, not just one, but both. I don't know what it is. It could be something as silly as, you know, I don't know, you eat with your mouth open or something, okay? I'm saying something stupid, but it could be anything. Um, really, something has been bothering both of you into this relationship and it needs to be assessed. So it needs to be figured out what it is. Um, may it be, um, I don't know, may it be that maybe you're not looking for the same goals together. Uh, may it be something as uh, silly or not, maybe, I don't know, you want a dog, he doesn't want a dog, there's something, there is something that is bothering both of you into this relationship, which is creating a little bit of a conflict here, okay, a little bit of, um, of a tension into the relationship. That being said, as I said, you're going to have to assess that. It's going to be fixed within time though, okay, that's going to be okay, um, but it is going to have to be communicated. That being said, that is communicated. That is all good. Um, you're going to, uh, and it's going to happen within time. You're also, there's, uh, I feel as though sometimes, but it, it often happens when you do have these, um, when you have these conflicts. I feel like sometimes you kind of get 
uh, lost into your own world. You get lost into your thoughts. You get lost into uh, illusions maybe or something. And you kind of have problems getting out of those illusions. You have problems stepping out of them. And sometimes the illusions can get confused with reality. So be very, very careful about that. So that doesn't come in between you into the relationship neither. Sometimes we truly believe in something, but it really just was, a, you know, a dream or an illusion or something that we made up or that we modified, okay? So be very careful about that. Try and get your clarity on that. Try to not put your wall up too high neither. I know whenever we're upset, we, you know, we tend to put our barriers up and we put our shields and we're like, just back off, right? We don't want to have that back off sign too long, okay? So make sure that whenever the argument is gone, the back off signs go away. Um, and if they don't go away, you need to assess that problem too because that means that there's something there. There's an underlining problem that is staying and that's why that sign is still there. Um, I feel as though um, there are a couple little secrets going on into this relationship or maybe it's just the unsaid things that are over here. Um, so, you know, uh, it's worth um, keeping an eye on. Don't work too much. Uh, one of you is working way too much, okay? I don't know which one it is, but there's just too much work. You need to let that go a little bit. And you need to leave work at work and not bring it home. So be very careful about that so you don't have a burnout. Um, you know, I do see a little bit of of cloudiness i do see a little bit of you know a little bit of problems but all together i mean you're on this journey together the the love is there you know every every relationship has problems so that's nothing abnormal um you're going to be receiving a gift so that's all nice uh maybe it's flowers maybe it you know it could be something very, it could be a card it could just be something that is completely unexpected to you that you were just waiting for it doesn't mean that it's of a great value um maybe even the gift is not uh, tangible okay so that being said, you're going to be receiving something that's going to make you quite happy. So that is going to be good. Maybe it's going to be in a reconciliation from what happened over here. Um, but that being said, you're on a good journey. Things are going, you know, fairly well. You have a little bit, you know, as I said, there's just a couple bad seeds, but who doesn't have them, right? So this is really about trying to assess the little problems that you do have. And other than that, you're 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 on to a, a, a golden road. So um, this does conclude this reading. Um, once again, it's a general reading. It might not, you know, resonate with everybody. If you do have any questions, um, you would like to have your own personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com my contact information is also into the youtube dropbox um please don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned also for all the readings i have a lot of readings that come out all the time so please do stay tuned for the readings that do come out daily and uh, i will be seeing you soon so have a great week and thank you for being there